Devotions for South Harbor Creek United Methodist Church. I'm Linda Mori, and today is June 2nd, 2022. As most of you know, I have been on vacation. I spent a few days in Cranberry, PA, just chilling and relaxing, and then headed to Ohio Pile State Park, where my brother manages the park and lives with his wife, Catherine, and his daughter, Esme. Esme works at the peak at Nemecolon. So she and I enjoyed lunch there, and she proudly showed me around the place. She worked a lot while I was there, including a Memorial Day weekend, which included an evening with the band The B-52s, who sang Love Shack, probably a song you all recognize. She, being in her 20s, did not know the band by name, but earlier in the day I had played Love Shack for her on YouTube, and so she was familiar with the song. Later that evening, while she was working, she called me when they were playing it so that I could listen over the phone. Nemecolon is a pretty swanky resort, and this coming week they are having a wedding there with Lady Gaga singing. I can only shake my head at this kind of money. It's beyond my imagination. My brother and sister-in-law took me around to their favorite restaurants in the areas surrounding Ohio Pile. Over the course of my stay, we had Italian food, Mexican food, breakfast, salad, pizza, you name it. We went to West Virginia to visit the home that they purchased and are preparing for their retirement. While with them, I had no idea what day of the week it was or what time of day it was. I truly was able to relax and have returned home a changed person. On my vacation, I read two books. The last one called The Wedding by Nicholas Sparks. I spent a relaxing day just enjoying being home and finishing the book leisurely yesterday. In the book, the main character, Wilson, asks himself a question. Can a man truly change? The reading for June 2nd from Jesus Calling assures us that yes, we can be transformed and renewed by God. Let's read together. Relax in my healing, holy presence. Be still while I transform your heart and mind. Let go of cares and worries so that you can receive my peace. Cease striving and know that I am God. Do not be like the Pharisees who multiplied regulations, creating their own form of godliness. They get so wrapped up in their own rules that they lose sight of me. Even today, man-made rules about how to live the Christian life enslave many people. Their focus is on their performance rather than on me. It is through knowing me intimately that you become like me. This requires spending time alone with me. Let go, relax, be still, and know that I am God. Cease striving and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth, is from Psalm 46. Dear friends, now that we are children of God, and what we will be has not yet been known, but we know that when he appears, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is, 1 John 3, 2. During his time on earth, Jesus changed many, many people. He made changes to their health that changed who they were i.e. from a blind person to a seeing person, from a leper to a clean man, etc., etc. He makes changes to their hearts and souls, from non-believers to believers, from persons who live for themselves to people who live to serve others. But probably the person we know the most who was changed by God was Saul, who became Paul. When Stephen was being stoned, Saul was there giving his approval. When Stephen was buried, Saul began to destroy the church, going from house to house, dragging off men and women and putting them in prison from Acts chapter 8. But in Acts chapter 9, we read where God asks Saul why he is persecuting him. We know that Jesus identified himself to Saul and that Saul was then blinded for three days on the way to Damascus. God told a man named Ananias to go find the man Saul, but Ananias had heard of Saul and his hatred of Christians and was afraid of him. 
However, he does as he is asked, and prays over Saul that he may see again and be filled with the Holy Spirit. He spent several days with the disciples in Damascus and at once began to preach in the synagogues and Jesus, that Jesus was the Son of God. Paul was so changed that those who witnessed this could not believe that this was the same man. There are many reasons why any of us should desire change in our lives. Perhaps we want a closer relationship with God. Maybe we realize that we are so stressed that it's affecting our health in a bad way. Maybe like the character Wilson in my book, we look back over the years of our lives and aren't very proud of what we see. But yes, Wilson realized that with prayer and a willingness to change, change is indeed possible. In fact, all things are possible with God who gives us strength. We have only to ask and believe. My change from a person who needed a vacation to a person who was so relaxed that I didn't know the day or time took only a week. Other changes may take longer. But if change is something you want and aren't sure it is possible, we can look at the story of Paul in the Bible and see how incredible a change can be if only God is included in it. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, you change the night into day and the seasons from one to the other. Nothing is too big or too small for you. Be with us and help us to change into people you would have us to be to bring you glory. In Jesus' name, amen. I hope that you all have a glorious day.